Today I want to share three features of Windows 11 that I find very annoying and I also will put some links in the description on how you can change uh, some of these features if you find they are annoying to you as well. The first one has to do with the start menu. Um, it puts the icons in the middle and the start menu in the middle rather than being over on the left where it used to be in previous versions of Windows. Now maybe they did this because they think it looks better which is possible it, it does look nice being in the middle but I don't like it there and one of the reasons is that the start menu is simply harder to click on. Um, you have to move the mouse cursor down and then you have to um, to move it back and forth until you uh, are on the start menu before you can open it. When it was on the left you simply move your cursor left and down and clicked and immediately it would open. In fact you can do that with your eyes closed but you can't do it with your eyes closed the way it is now. It takes just a little bit more effort but I use my start menu a lot and I just like it to be in that familiar bottom left place. The second feature I find annoying in Windows 11 is the context menus. So if I right click on something uh, in this example just an open area of the desktop it comes up with several options but to see all the options that I expect to be there I have to click show more options which is just more effort I don't see any reason why they wouldn't just include all of those menu options on the first menu um, there are several of the options that I often use that are in the secondary menu and it's just more work to have to click to get there the other thing about the context menus that I find unintuitive is the fact that some actions are represented only by icons and not text. For example, um, if you have something copied on the clipboard, there's a paste button here. Now obviously advanced users are probably going to use control V or they'll know what this is, but beginning users do not know what it is and many times it is those users that I'm writing tutorials for or talking them through something over the phone and it's a lot easier to write instructions that say right click on the desktop and click paste than it is to say right click on the desktop and look for the thing that looks like a little clipboard uh, with a little piece of paper beside it. It just is a lot easier if there's text there anytime you're doing a tutorial whether it's a written tutorial or a verbal tutorial. That has really made my life difficult as someone who supports end users in IT. The third thing I find very annoying in Windows 11 is the settings app and that of course is slowly but surely replacing the control panel which is what you used to use to change settings. Now as it turns out the control panel is still in Windows 11. You can click on the start menu and start typing the word control panel. There it comes up and the control panel is still there but there are many settings now that are missing from the control panel and are now in the settings app. I don't have any problem with Microsoft modernizing um, this and moving things from the control panel to the settings app. The problem is is they're doing it at kind of a slow pace and as you install updates to Windows 10 and Windows 11 um, they've been moving those settings and this again has created a lot of headaches for me. One because I work in in this every day and it throws me off. I, I try to find a setting that's normally in the in the control panel and I have to move to the settings app and it's like trying to hit a moving target depending on which computer I'm sitting at and what update level they are um, those settings might be in different places so it makes it difficult for me but it, it's especially difficult for users when I'm trying to talk them through something again I do that a lot in my support role I'm I'm talking somebody through doing something over the phone and it's hard for me to describe where the setting is at because I don't know for sure where it's going to be found. I don't know whether it will be in the in the control panel or in the settings app. And they keep moving things around. It just appears to me that this thing is half-baked. Microsoft needs to make the settings app complete. Okay, finish the job and then leave it the same for the entire uh, Windows 11 era. Until you move to Windows 12 or whatever's next, it should be the same and remain the same so all of us can find what we're looking for and can help others find what they're looking for. So that's all I have for today. If you have other annoyances about Windows 11 you'd like to share, put those in the comments below. Also, take a look in the video description because I will put links there to other videos I've done that can help you uh, customize some of these things. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.